I guess you are watching this video because your computer is running with an issue here as you were trying to open a program you have recently installed this or RI. The program can start because ttdx9 underscore 38.dll is missing from your computer. It's a very common issue and all you need to do is watch this video patiently and follow that method on your computer. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I will be fixing this error within 3 minutes. So let's start the countdown. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for dtdx9 underscore 38.dll. You can choose any result. I'm choosing the first one. It's not sponsored, but I'll put the link in the description. Here you can see few download options based on the architecture and version. To know your architecture and version, click on start and search for system information. Here you can see mine is 64 bit and I'm updated to the recent Windows update, so I'll be downloading the second one. I strongly recommend you to read this space, it has multiple fixing methods also. As the download complete, hit open. The downloaded GIF has two files, one is the DLL file and another one is readme. To move the DLL, first open this PC, new volume C, Windows, and find a folder named System32. This is the home of 32 bit DLLs. Then click on the zip file, drag the DLL, and drop. I have already done this, so it is asking me to replace. And click on Continue to give administrator access. Before we proceed, let's check. By typing the file name, you can see the file is perfectly placed in the 32-bit folder. The job is done for 32-bit users. You can go and restart your computer. If you are a 64 bit user like me, open this PC one more time. New volume C. Windows, and this time find a folder named SysWall64. This is the home of 64 bit DLL files. And similarly, drag and drop. Basically, 64 bit users need to paste the file in both folders of 32 bit and 64 bit. Check this one more time. Yeah, the, you can see the file is placed in 64 bit folder. So, job is done. And finally, restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if there are two occurs, you need to download and install Microsoft DirectX from Microsoft official website and install your program again, and that will surely fix it. And that's all. If you follow me step by steps, you will no longer have that problems left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.